In today's video, we are going to show you how to dance samba rolls. Samba rolls are an incredibly popular move. It's a unique move to samba. We don't use it in any other dances. It's also very difficult to do. We have to really coordinate our bodies together, keeping the lady on the, on the right side of the man. And on top of that, I'm bending backwards while the lady, uh, lady's bending backwards, which means I'm on the inside of the curve. And so it's really pulling the lady out of her feet. We've been practicing them for over 20 years. So we've gotten pretty good at it. So not only are we gonna teach you how to dance the samba rolls, we're also gonna give you some really good tips on how to get the bodies blending together. Some uh, ways that you can dance the samba rolls and practice them solo before you actually put them together with a partner and a few little pitfalls to, uh, to watch out for. Our names are Simeon and Cora, owners of Aria Ballroom and the authors of SK Danceport. Let's get started. Actually, it's quite difficult to explain. The first thing is I use my ankles and knees. Without softening, you, softening your ankles and knees, it's gonna be very difficult to produce the roll in the top. But basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to do a 360 degree roll on the outside of our feet. So I'm making a circle with my, with my top outside of my feet. And I have to counterbalance it with the lower part of my body. So my top is counterbalanced by the, by the base, by my hips and the uh, and butt. <laughs> so my upper body and lower body are counterbalancing and I'm allowing my knees, as I move through the, through the steps, I'm, I'm allowing my knees and my hips to counterbalance my upper body. So I'm in, in, in actuality just making a, a circle, a wide circle on the top 
and I'm counterbalancing with a slightly tighter circle on the base. At various parts of the roll, I'm gonna be doing slightly different things because obviously when I roll to the side, I can't send my knees to the side too far. When I'm going backwards, I can send my knees forward. When I go forward, I can send my hips back. But the first thing I do is I send my knees forward, yeah, and I arc my back. And I'm counterbalancing myself. Then I go to the right. I'm sending my hips to the right as my body goes to the sorry, hips to the left as my body goes to the right. Then my hips go back as my body goes forward. And then my hips are still back as I step into the first step as my body is forward and just sliding to the left. Now on the side step, I'm gonna start to hit the, I call this the 11 o'clock. So I'm forward at 11 o'clock instead of forward at 12 o'clock. Then as I cross, I'm maybe now a little bit more at 10 o'clock. This way. And then on the back half, I at 9 o'clock. And then I'm back way back here on the side step as I close my feet. So the whole time I am rolling my upper body and counterbalancing it with my lower body. All right, so for the ladies part, it's very similar to the man's. We are using our lower body to produce most of the roll. So a lot of people, they have this misconception that this, the rolling action of the samba roll happens with the upper body, but in fact, most of it happens with the lower body. So I think of it as mostly taking place in the hips and in the knees. Yeah, so I can definitely rotate my knees in a circle like this, but I can also rotate my hips in the circular action. So for me, even though from the outside it looks like the roll is taking place with the upper body, in fact, it's the lower body that's dancing the roll. So the way that I dance this roll, if I demonstrate it diagonally across the camera so that you can see it the best. So, on the first thing is that I'm gonna make sure that I want to take up as much of the corners as possible. So again, if you approach it from going forward and backwards and side to side, then it will end up looking a little bit flat. It won't look as round as you want the sample roll to look. But if you approach it from taking up the corners, that's where you're going to make your sample roll look the roundest. So I go from corner to corner. So I'm gonna go from this corner and I'm gonna send my hips back first. So I don't think about my body going forward, but my hips going back as I take the first step. Now as I go into the next piece, I'm actually gonna maintain this line for most of it. And you can see that I'm quite far forward because remember that at this point, the man is over the top of us. So in order for the roll to look really full as a partnership, somebody has to be really far forward and that's generally the lady. So from here, now we're gonna continue quick, quick, and you can still see that I'm forward. Now when I start the back half, it's gonna start again with the hips. So not sending the body back, that's a really common problem. So from this position here, I'm gonna start to pick up my hips forward and to the left. Yeah, so they're traveling diagonally forward towards my left foot, which is actually my standing foot. So I don't want my hips to travel to the right, that's gonna make them fall off balance, but I want to pick my hips up forward into the left. Now from this position here, that's gonna give me this line. I'm gonna maintain that line as I take my next step back on my slow. Now when I go to the side on quick, I'm gonna send my hips and my knees forward to dance the back half, so I'll do it from this angle. This is the back half of the roll, so now I have a nice arc here. And then, as we bring the feet together, we're gonna dance towards the back corner, there. Now to come around back to the front corner again, I take my left hip and I send it back, left first, and then around to start the next roll. So there's a few good ways to practice samba rolls. Obviously practicing them on your own is a good idea. You gotta be on your own balance first before you try with a partner. Uh, and then the simple exercise, uh, many couples do this. This is actually how sometimes samba rolls start in competition. We do one kind of dry run. So I roll without moving my feet. So I go right, forward, left, back and left, back back and right, and really trying to fill all the corners up. The other thing is that as I do the forward part, this part here, 
I really, I don't do it perfect every time, but I try to keep it horizontal with the floor. So once I kind of touch down, I keep it horizontal. We don't want to do this. Mm. Yeah, actually, it's quite nice. <laughs> yeah. So I'm trying to be horizontal to the floor, horizontal, horizontal. Okay, I'm trying horizontal. And then I come back horizontal without the grip here. If you're finding stability when your feet are together is a little bit difficult, then definitely doing it with the feet apart like this is really helpful for extra stability. So when you're first starting out and working on samba rolls, that's a really good way to actually get the hips moving together, which as we discussed earlier, is where most of the rolling action comes from. And try not to practice this in public. It's a, <laughs> a, a little special. <laughs> so maybe just do it in the dance studio. That's probably a good tip. All right, guys, well, I hope that you found that useful. Uh, we know that samba rolls are difficult, but they're definitely worthwhile in the long run. So keep practicing them, keep working on it. They will get better over time. It can be frustrating. You'll step on each other a lot. You might get a few tiny bloody toes. It wouldn't be the first time. It's not happened to not all the of guys, us. we're safe. <laughs> but they do get kicked as well. They, they love it when our skinny high heels grind into their toes. <laughs> But it happens to all of us. It's part of the process. You just have to kind of take it as it comes, keep practicing, and they will get better, we promise. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe and let us know in the comments below. And we'll see you next time. Bye. What am I starting with? We're teaching some rolls or? I'm recording you doing it. <laughs> Step, actually, did it just turn off again? Okay. I heard something. And go. <laughs> As I go. Okay, I'll do it.